Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the optic center of a camera and the optic center of the image. Now, what that is, is the intersection of the center line of the lens, the long axis of the lens, with the sensor chip. And that's the point that objects in the distance in an image like this are converging to. You'd like that point to be at the exact center of the image. Unfortunately, the camera manufacturers, I don't think, really control it. The sensor chips are small compared to the manufacturing tolerances and everything. So it definitely winds up in, in a wide variety of spots, not just on different models of cameras, but just it's different between different individual cameras of exactly the same model. So we'd like to know where that point is in order to be able to do accurate match moving. But unfortunately, it's hard to measure even with lens grids. Unfortunately, the less the distortion there is in the lens, the harder it is to measure exactly where this center point is. So I have a method for zoom lenses that I describe on the website, but obviously not all lenses are zoom lenses. So what I'm going to talk about here is another way to do it that's a pretty simple and direct measurement that relies on intentionally causing vignetting. So the idea is to mount a series of filter step-down rings onto the camera that are just concentrically screwed together so that instead of having a nice big camera aperture, the opening at the very end is pretty small and it causes a vignetted image. And we can then take a look at that. So these rings, maybe five to ten dollars apart, and if you pick them right, you know, they all just screw right into one another. So you only need a, a bunch of them and then you can cover a whole range of different filter sizes so that you can just take the right one and stick it onto the end of a lens, whatever lenses you encounter, and be able to do this. And then it's just a pretty simple procedure when you're out in the field to do it. So the kind of images that we get are things like this. So depending on the different settings of the lens, and this is actually a zoom lens, based on the iris and focus and everything, you get a bunch of different images, but as long as the lens is reasonable, they're going to wind up with the same center, and it's just going to be in some different location that you want to find out. So these are in cameras. This is the GH4 in its still photo mode. So we can go and look at an image. This is from the HD mode of the GH4. So the idea here is to go and create a circular roto mask here on the roto panel. So I'm just going to go off from one edge and sweep out to the other side. And then I can move this around a little bit to fine tune. You notice even this roto mask isn't terribly, terribly round try and get it into the right spot. We can adjust the radius and orientation of it a little bit if we need to also. So we're just putting this circular mask out here that then lets us go and look and see you know, exactly where does this center point wind up in the image. So I just put the cursor there and now I can go down to the corner on the status line and see that this is around minus 0.04 and minus 0.024 and that's the optic center of the lens. So this is a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, clearly in the future maybe I'll have some little piece of code to go <laughs> and do this automatically but it's uh, no big deal to go and, and just do it. Um, so this is in the HD mode. Now, you know, the cameras these days, you know, will switch around exactly what pixels they're using 
depending on the camera mode. So if I go to the GH4's 4K mode, it's actually using a smaller section of the sensor. It's using the actual 3840 pixels of it, and there's 4608 in the full size image that it was using previously. So the actual part of the sensor that's being used is smaller, and that's why our circle comes out looking bigger. The field of view of the camera is smaller. But the consequence of this is that it makes the UV optic center to be larger by exactly the same ratio. So that's a bit of a, a red flag and something to look out for that if you have your, your camera and it looks like it's pretty well centered at you know one mode and the photo mode or the HD mode and then you switch to a different mode it's using a different set of the pixels and here it's smaller now all of a sudden you're looking at a larger degree of off-centering. Your image is more off-center. So that's a bit of a concern and you have to keep an eye out for that so that when you're doing this measurement that you're using the mode of the camera that you're actually going to be using in practice. But as long as you get that right, you know, this is really a quite simple and practical technique, I think. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.